hope you're having a, a great week so far and enjoying some of this Indian summer that we're experiencing. And uh, if you were with us on, on Sunday, you will know that I was speaking from Mark chapter one and the baptism of Jesus and then the temptation of Jesus. Um, if you weren't, you now know that that's what I was speaking about and I'd encourage you to go and listen to the podcast. Um, uh, just a couple of things that I want to draw out really from that, just to help us this week. Um, if you've been following Jesus um, for any length of time uh, and you proclaim to be a follower of Jesus, you will have likely experienced some period of your life where it felt like a wilderness. It felt like you were dry, it felt like it was a dangerous place, a, a place where um, you were alone and isolated and it just, it's, it's not a pleasant place to be. Um, one of the things that I notice from, from Jesus and this experience with Jesus in baptism and, and the wilderness and the temptations that he faced was that all, all, all three things had to uh, take, take place in order for, for Jesus then to be propelled out into ministry. See, Jesus started from a point where he was, uh, his identity was affirmed. Now, don't misunderstand, this wasn't Jesus becoming divine. Jesus has always been divine. But this was a point of affirmation and confirmation of the Father. Now for us, you and I, uh, we are adopted into God's family and he, his spirit comes and lives in us and, and therefore because we believe in him, we're, we're given the right to become children of God. So our identity is always something that is, is birthed by God and, and, uh, and done in us, it's God's action. And so that, that's a really foundational point that we've got to grapple with and understand who we are in Christ and, and you know, the spirit enables us to do that. But the same spirit who confirmed Jesus' identity, also sent him out into the wilderness. And sometimes we can blame the wrong person for, for our wilderness period, at the time where we feel like it's really dry. And actually what the enemy intends for harm, God will use for good. So our, our test, the, the times of testing are the points where God actually wants to strengthen us and strengthen our resolve. And the times of temptation that the enemy brings, which is often at the end of the point where, uh, of our wilderness period, where we, we feel the, the tiredest or the most frustrating, he wants to use those tempt temptations to destroy our faith. And so maybe you are feeling like this point in time in your life is a wilderness and you're, you're confused, you're, you're, just, you're at the point where you want to give up. Can I encourage you to dig into the reserve of, of who you are in Christ? You are a loved, uh, you are just loved by him. He, you're his child, he, he adores you, He's, he, he wants to, it's no, no challenge or, or hardship for him to affirm your identity. But in this place of wilderness, he is strengthening your faith that your resolve is, is, is in him in order that you might be propelled out to do the things that he's called you and commissioned you to do. You see, I don't believe that you can have the, the calling without the security of identity or, or the period of, of, of strengthening of your faith. And so whatever it is that God's placing before you, whatever it is you feel the Holy Spirit is stirring in you, and it, it might be into a new area of mission, it might be an opportunity that God's opening up. Um, embrace what God is doing in the moment because actually the, all those things, your identity, the period of testing and strengthening are, are working together in order to propel you out into what God has called you to do. You see, temptation will come. And temptation isn't always wrong. Well, temptation isn't sin. What we do with that is. But be aware that when you're in those periods of time, of time in your life where you feel the, uh, just that, that's, that uh, sense of um, dryness is where the enemy can come in. And so you need other people. So connect in with the Connect group. Um, make sure you connect in with other people because actually we need one another in this journey of faith and life. Um, and God works all these things for his glory and your benefit.